What is your reaction to the United States topping the overall rankings in the Global Competitiveness Report? Well, it's not a surprise. Uh, the United States has been at the top of the list uh, for years. Uh, and there are many reasons why the United States is at the top. Uh, first, uh, the United States is the largest economy, so uh, for most companies to be in the U.S. market is important uh, because of its sheer size. Uh, second, the United States is, uh, has the most competitive markets, uh, labor markets, they have the more flexi most flexible markets in the world, uh, financial markets, most innovative financial markets in the world. Uh, and uh, goods markets, uh, the competition within the uh, United States uh, to grasp, uh, uh, to get uh, 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 market share leads uh, all the companies to uh, be very innovative, uh, very creative. Unless you are innovative and creative, you cannot survive in the U.S. And this, of course, means that the U.S. ends up being very competitive, a uh, very innovative economy. Uh, the second, the, the third uh, important factor for the United States is the capacity, the ability to uh, create new technologies. They have the best research institutions, uh, best universities, and the universities uh, cooperate very, very well uh, with the private sector. Uh, so, Professor, despite the success, what are the weaknesses or danger signs in the U.S. economy? Uh, there are two uh, signs of uh, weakness in the U.S. economy right now. Uh, one is the, the, the institutional environment, um, especially the independence of the government uh, uh, with respect to the private sector. Many of the decisions made by the government do not seem to be, uh, do not seem to be seen as fair by the, by the business community. And of course, the, the worst problem that everybody knows about is the uh, growing macroeconomic imbalances, the growing deficit, the growing uh, debt. Uh, the large uh, uh, external uh, uh, deficit. So uh, the, the macroeconomy, at the macroeconomic level, the U.S. scores very, very, very poorly relative to the rest of the countries in the world. What other countries stand out in this year's global competitiveness report? Of course, uh, Switzerland, uh, being the uh, second ranked economy in the world, uh, stands out. And it stands out because of uh, uh, their very good research institutions that par with the uh, American ones. Uh, and uh, uh, it also it is it scores very very well in the institutional environment. Transparency, fairness uh, uh, is uh, are, are the main uh, characteristics that put uh, Switzerland at the top of the of the of the ranks. Uh, then we have the uh, Nordic countries, especially Denmark, Sweden, and Finland, uh, that they, they score very well also in the institutional environment. Transparency. Uh, fairness, uh, uh, the, the, the institutions are uh, seen as very, very good uh, uh, by the business community. And uh, they also uh, are very good in, uh, in the education system. Um, at the other extreme, of course, we have Africans. African countries uh, uh, populate the bottom of the ranks uh, in almost every category. Even countries that used to do very well, uh, like Botswana, are now uh, falling in the ranks uh, because of the AIDS crisis which is a humanitarian crisis, but it's also uh, an economic crisis. Uh, it is very expensive to deal with these uh, diseases uh, in, uh, in countries with uh, infection rates uh, that are close to 30%. And of course, uh, the business community suffers, uh, suffers from that, and this uh, you know, uh, pushes uh, uh, countries like Botswana down in the ranks uh, dramatically. Now, uh, in between the great successes and the big disasters in Africa, we have uh, the Asian countries. Uh, a lot of Asian countries do very, very well. Uh, Singapore, Hong Kong, Japan are score very, very well. Uh, uh, Asia and India are not, uh, are not doing so well, are not doing as well as these uh, uh, smaller uh, Asian countries. But, uh, you know, they're growing at a very healthy uh, pace, uh, but uh, and, uh, the fact that they do not score uh, very highly in the, in the competitiveness ranks means that, that their um, growth uh, could be coming to an end uh, unless they introduce the reforms in the various, uh, in the various uh, areas that we highlight as problematic, uh, growth uh, is, not going to be, uh, is not going to be sustainable. And finally, uh, the, in, in Latin America, um, uh, Latin America con is, is, is a continuous disappointment. Um, um, they do not seem to, be, except for Chile, they do not seem, uh, countries in Latin America do not seem to be uh, improving uh, in their ranks. They are 
uh, they seem to be stagnated. Uh, the reforms that they are uh, uh, undertaking are not really uh, are not really seen by the business community as uh, successful. Uh, there are, you know, uh, Latin America is a very heterogeneous uh, uh, group. Uh, there are some successes, but uh, by and large, uh, Latin America is, I think, uh, a disappointment.